Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number seven of exercise ten. In this question, you are given a figure where AD and BE are the medians of triangle ABC, and DF is given parallel to BE. We have to prove that CF is equals to one fourth of AC. We have to prove that this, which is CF, is one fourth of this AC, and where AD. And B are given the medians, and we know that medians are the line drawn from the vertex in a triangle which divides the opposite sides into two equal parts. Means this point should divide this side into two equal parts. In other words, we can say that D is the midpoint. Similarly, if B is the median, so B should meet AC at its midpoint. So E again should be the midpoint. It is given to you. So we can conclude that D and E are the midpoints. This is because they are the meeting point of median and the side, and this is given to you. Now, because here it is midpoint, so we we'll use The midpoint theorem. So first of all, let's apply the midpoint theorem on this triangle, which is B C this E. And in this triangle, this side having the midpoint D, and it is given that you are drawing a parallel line from D till F. So according to midpoint theorem, if we draw a parallel line from the midpoint of one side, it should meet. The midpoint of another side. So again, F is the midpoint. This is because of midpoint theorem. You can write it. Uh, uh, you can write the theorem as well, but I am writing it in a short way. Now. If this is the midpoint, so clearly this part and this part should be equal. So this can be written as half of this. So FC, or you can say CF, can be written as half of CE. So this is our first equation. Now let's talk about this complete triangle. Triangle is. I am drawing it here. Triangle is A, B, C, and this is the midpoint, which is E, and this is your median. So, if this is the midpoint, so clearly this part and this part should be equal, which is the CF, CE. Sorry. And AC must be equal, or you can say that this CF, CE, sorry, CE must again be equals to half of AC. So this is our second equation. So in place of CE, here we can write half of AC because these two are equal. So then in place of this, we can write it. Here, so from equation first, from equation first and second, if we substitute the value of C in first equation, the equation will become C F will be equal to half, and in place of C, what I am writing is half of A C. So clearly, C F will be when when this is multiplied, will be one fourth of A C. This is what we have to prove here. So CF is equal to one fourth of AC. Okay. If you are not able to get it, it's better to assume AC any length. Let's say I'm assuming AC as eight centimeter. So I'm assuming that the length of AC is eight centimeter. And if E is the midpoint of this triangle, so clearly. This part and this part must be equal. So 
This must be 4 cm and this again must be 4 cm. So we can say that this is half of this complete length. So 4 is half of this complete length which is 8 cm. And again by this midpoint theorem what we have proved that F is the midpoint of that CE. So clearly this length and this length must be equal. If this is complete length is 4 cm, so clearly this must be 2 cm and this must be 2 cm. So we can clearly say that this is 1 fourth of this complete. So CF we are saying is 1 fourth of complete AC and we know that AC we have assumed at 8 cm. So if I divide this, this will be 2. So say CF is equal to 2 centimeters. So this is also you can, this is how also you can prove this same thing instead of writing it. So this is how you can solve this question. Thank you.